Good morning all of you. Today we will be discussing the questions under the heading try this in page number 13. And our first question is a bus started its journey and reached different places with a speed of 60 km per hour. The journey is shown on page 14. Find the total distance covered by the bus from A to D. That is our first question. What are the things given here? A bus has started its journey and it it, ha it is reaching different destinations that is A, B, C, D, E, F, G you can see in the figure. Now first and the speed of the bus is given as what 60 km per hour and the first question is you have to find the total distance covered by the bus from A to D. A to D means what this one, this one, this one. Okay. That is A to D means the total distance covered by the bus from A to D means what? The distance the bus covered from A to B plus B to C plus C to D. Okay, this will be the total distance covered by the bus from A to D. All these distances you have to add. So, let's see what is the distance from A to B. In the question, it is 4170 kilometer in this figure A to B. Now, what is B to C? 3410 kilometer plus what is C to D? 2160 kilometer. So, the distance covered from A to B is 4170 kilometer plus distance covered from B to C is 3410 kilometer plus distance covered from C to D is 2160. So now let's add all those things that is 4170 plus 3410 plus 2160. Okay. So 0, 14, 7, 9. So, what will be the answer? 9740 kilometer. Okay. 9740 kilometer. Okay. Everything is in kilometer. So, answer will be also in kilometer. So, finally you can write the total distance covered by the bus from A to D equal to 9740 kilometer. Okay, so now let's see the second question. So our second question is, find the total distance covered by the bus from D to G. Okay, total distance covered by the bus from D to G. D to G means what from here, then to here and finally to here. Okay, that means what? The total distance covered from D to E. plus total distance covered from E to F plus total distance covered from F to G. Okay. So, what is the distance from D to E? In the question, it is 8140. 8140 kilometer plus from E to F 4830 kilometer. Now, finally, from F to G, what is there? 2550 km. Now you have to add all these things. So, now let's add this 0, 12, carry 1, 15, carry 1, 15. So, what will be the answer? 15520. So, our answer will be the total distance covered by bus from D to G equal to 15520 kilometer or 15520 kilometer. Okay, 15520 kilometer. Now, let's see the third question. Find the total distance covered by the bus if it starts from A and returns back to A. That means what? It starts from A and then it goes in this way and returns back to A. So, you have to find the total distance covered. Okay. That means A to A. 
okay third question is actually a to a that means the distance covered from a to b plus b to c plus c to d plus d to e plus e to f plus f to g plus g to a okay but this thing you have already found out that is a to b plus b to c plus c to d in the first question you have already found the answer as what 9740 kilometer so no need of finding this and from d to g also you have already found out in the second question what was that the answer was 15520 kilometer and now the only thing that remains is g to a okay only this thing is remaining what is that 1290 kilometer okay now when you add all these three things you will get the total distance covered by the bus when it returns back to a so let's find it that is 9740 kilometer no need of writing kilometer plus 15520 okay plus 1290 when you write these things you have to keep in mind about the places ones place tens place hundreds place etc okay you should write it like this now you have to add it that is you will get 0 here 15 here carry 1 15 here carry 1 16 here carry 1 so 26550 okay that is total distance covered by the bus if it starts from a and returns back to a equal to 26550 kilometer now let's discuss the fourth question can you find the difference of distances from C to D and D to E? So first you have to find the distance from C to D and then you have to find the distance from D to E and then you have to subtract that. That is what is the distance from C to D? C to D the distance is what? 2160 kilometer. And what is the distance from D to E? D to E the distance is 8140 kilometer. Okay, now you have to subtract this one. That is which is the bigger one? This one. So let's write it first. That is 8140 minus smaller one 2160. And you have to subtract it. 0, 0, 14, 8, 7, 10, 9, Five. So, what is the answer? 5980 kilometers. Okay. So, you can say that the difference of distances from C to D and D to E is 5980 kilometers. Okay. You have to write it in this way. Now, let's see the fifth question. Find out the time taken by the bus to reach. You have to find out the time taken. So what is the equation for time if the speed and distance is given? And you know that time is equal to what? Distance by speed. Time is equal to distance by speed. Okay, so speed is already given here which is equal to 60 km per hour. Speed is 60 km per hour. Okay, so... In fifth question, our A is what? A to B. You have to find out the time taken by the bus to reach A to B. Okay. So, from A to B, you have to note the distance first. From A to B, the distance is what? 4170 kilometer. So, you can say that the time taken by the bus to reach A to B is equal to distance. That is 4170 kilometer divided by what is the speed 60 kilometer per hour 
okay you have to write in full sentence that is time taken by the bus to reach a to b okay that is the first one equal to 4170 divided by 60 so let's do that we'll get 6 here 360 okay so 7 5 570 9 540 30 you will add 0 here and put point here 5 300 so what is our answer 69.5 ok and the time or the speed is given in kilometer per hour so our answer will be also in hours ok so 69.5 hours will be our answer since the question is in hour that is kilometer per hour and here it is in kilometer so hour so our answer will be also in hour so 69.5 will be our answer for the a that is the time taken by the bus to reach a to b equal to 69.5 hours now let's see b so our b is c to d okay you have to uh, find the time taken by the bus to reach c to d okay so the time taken will be equal to distance what is the distance from c to d distance from c to d is 2160 kilometers divided by what is the speed speed is the same that is 60 kilometer per hour okay now let's divide that that is 2160 divided by 60 okay 3 1 180 3 0 6 360 so what is the answer 36 so this will be equal to what 36 hours okay you should not forget the unit so our answer will be 36 hours so time taken by the bus to reach c to d is equal to what 36 hours now let's see the third question third one is c so find out the time taken by the bus to reach e to g e to g means what e to g here okay so the total distance you have to find out okay that is the distance from e to g means what e to f plus e f to g okay distance from e to g means e to f plus f to g divided by speed okay so e to f means what what is the distance from e to f it is 4830 plus what is f to g 2550 okay divided by speed is 60 60 kilometer per hour so first let's add that that is 4830 plus 2550 what is that 0 8 13 carry 1 7 okay so 7380 this is equal to 7380 kilometer divided by 60 so now you have to divide these two things that is 7380 divided by 60 okay that means 1 60 1 3 8 2 8 1 180 3 180 0 so what is the answer it is 123 so our answer will be 123 hours time taken by the bus to reach e to g equal to 123 hours in full sentence you have to write okay now let's see d so what is d find out the time taken by the bus to reach total journey 
total journey means what starting from here and returning back to here okay so time is equal to distance by speed so what is the total distance covered by the bus so that is actually we have found the answer in third one that is find the distance covered by the bus if it starts from a and returns back to a that will be the total distance so what was that the answer was 26550 okay so that will be the total distance 26550 divided by speed will be the same that is 60 kilometers distance how did you get this distance that is we have actually done the answer in the third question that 26550 now you have to divide it with the speed so 26550 Zero divided by sixty, so two sixty five, four, two forty, okay, five two five. Now in two fifty five also four, so two forty five one one fifty two one twenty, okay. Three zero zero. That means point five. Three hundred, and you will get zero. So what will be the answer for this one? Four hundred forty-two point five hours. Okay. That is the time taken by the bus to reach, or time taken by the bus for the total journey equal to four hundred forty-two point five hours. So in this way you can do the answer for this questions. Now let's see the second question. Now our second question is things. A list of things as well as price is given and the sales during the last year for each things are also given. Now the first question or A is can you find the total weight of apples and oranges ramen sold last year? Okay, you need to find the total weight of apples and oranges that ram ramen sold last year. Okay, so what is the weight of apples here? From the figure, you can see the weight of apples is two four five seven kg. Okay, two four five seven kg or two thousand four hundred fifty seven kg. Now, what is the weight of oranges? Three thousand four kg. Now what you have to see, you have to see the total weight of apples and oranges. So total weight equal to two thousand four hundred fifty-seven kg plus three thousand four kg. Okay, you have to add them. That is two four five seven plus three zero zero four. Okay. So what will be the answer? Eleven carry one six four five, so five thousand four hundred sixty one kilogram. Thousand four hundred sixty one kilogram will be the answer for this question. Okay, so you can say total weight of apples and oranges ramen sold last year equal to. In this way, you have to write equal to what five thousand four hundred sixty one kilogram. Okay, in this way you have to write it in full sentence. Now let's see B. Now our second question is: Can you find the total money Raman got by selling apples? Okay, so you have to find the total money Raman got by selling apples. So what is the price of apple per kg? It is forty per kg. That's already given as forty per kg. Okay, that is that is price of apple per kilogram equal to forty. Now our question is to find the total money Raman got by selling apples. So, so the total money Raman got by selling apples. Okay, total money. How will you find out? You have to just multiply the price of apple per kg. Price of apple per kilogram. Into total sale. Okay, total sale. So what is that price of apple per kilogram is forty. Into what is the total sale of apple? 
that is 2457 kg 2457 kg okay so what will you get 2457 into 40 okay 40 0 0 0 0 now 28 carry 2 22 carry 2 18 carry 1 9 0 8 2 eight, 8 okay so what will be our answer 9 8 2 8 okay since the question is to find the total money ramen got that means what our answer will be in rupees so 98280 rupees that will be the answer for b okay you need to just multiply price of apple per kg into total sale okay so now let's see c so what is c can you find the total money ramen got by selling apples and oranges you have to find the total money ramen got by selling apples and oranges So from the previous question, we have already found out the total money Raman got by selling apples. Okay, that is what was the answer? Ninety eight thousand two hundred eighty. Okay, this was the answer. Ninety eight thousand two hundred eighty rupees. Total money Raman got by selling apples. This we have already found out from the previous answer. Now. you have to find in the similar manner you have to find the total money ramen got by selling oranges okay so what is the total money that ramen got by selling oranges how will you find out you need to multiply price of orange per kg okay price of orange per kilogram into total sale of orange last year okay total sale of orange last year so that will be equal to what is the price of orange per kilogram it is 30 from the box okay 30 into what is the total sale of orange 3004 kilogram 3004 so you have to just multiply that that is 0 0 0 0 12 0 0 0 0 9 so the answer will be 90120 okay rupees now you have got the total money ramen got by selling oranges equal to 90120 and you have to add both of this that is total money ramen got by selling apples plus total money ramen got by selling oranges okay so total money ramen got by selling apples and oranges equal to 98280 that is this one plus this one 90120 what will you get 98280 plus 90120 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 
and in the second column you have to write the total money Raman got by uh, from selling each items from selling apples from selling oranges etc okay so first let's write the amount so from question B you have already found out that the money Raman got by selling apples was how much 98,280 okay from the second question we have already found it out now the total money Raman got by selling oranges also we have found it from the C what was that 90,120 okay that is just multiplying this 40 into 2450 57 30 into 3004 okay in that way now what is the total money Raman got by selling comps comps means what you have to do 3 into 3 into 22760 okay 22760 that is the total sale 2 Two seven six zero into three. Three is the price of comp for one per comp. The price is three. Okay, so you have to multiply that. Then you will get eighteen carry eighteen carry one twenty one carry one twenty two carry two eight six. So 68,280. Okay. Now the next one. What is the next item? Toothbrushes. Okay. Toothbrushes. So toothbrushes 10 for 1. 10. Okay. 10 for 1. And what is the number? 25367. Okay. That is for the toothbrushes. You can see 10 for 1 and toothbrushes amount is 2, 5, 3, 6, 7 into 10. So multiplication with 10 is very easy. You need to just add the 0. Okay. That is 2, 5, 3, 6, 7, 0. 2, 5, 3, 6, 7, 0. Okay. Now what is next? Pencils. So for pencils... It is 141 and what is the number of pencils 38530 38530 so 38530 into 1 means what the number itself that is 38530 okay now what is next notebooks notebooks you will see that it is 6 okay notebooks 6 6 for 1 and how much how many notebooks are there 4002 that means you have to multiply them that is 40002 into 6 okay into 6 so 12 carry 1 0 0 4 into 6 is 24 okay so 240012 okay now the last one is soap cakes so for soap cakes 8 8 for 1 and how many soap cakes are there 2005 so you have to multiply them that is 20005 into 8 okay 40 carry 4 0 0 16 so what will be the answer 16 0 0 4 0 okay so we have got the total money Raman received from selling each item now the question is arrange the entries of amount of money received in descending order okay so this is our box that we have made in the first column you can write what things things and in the second column you can write the money received okay first column is what things and the second column is money received 
Now the next thing that you have to do is you have to arrange these entries in descending order. Descending order means what? You have to write the greatest number first. Okay. So let's arrange it. So since there is no space, I am arranging it here. Okay. That is descending order. Descending order means biggest to smallest. So let's see the number of digits in each one. Here how many digits are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 digits are there. Here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 digits. Here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 digits. Here 1, 2, 3, 6 digits. Here 5 digits. Here 6 digits. Here also 6 digits. So this, this and this have got 6 digits. Okay. Now you have to find out the greatest number among these 3. That is 2, 5, 3, 6, 7, 0, 2, 4, 0, 0, 1, 2, 1, 6, 0, 0, 4, 0. Okay. So, first you have to compare the numbers in its greatest places. Place value. That is here. Okay. So, which one is the greater one? This have got 2 and this have got 2. That means what? Both are greater so you have to find the greatest among these two okay so for that you have to compare the very next place that is this one so here it is 5 and here it is 4 so 5 is greater one so you can say this one is the greatest number that is 2 5 3 6 7 0 okay and soon after that what will be the next this one that is 2 4 0 0 1 2 and after that, this one, that is 160040. Now, what is the next number? So, 5 digit, this is a 5 digit, this is 5 digit, this is 5 digit and this is 5 digit. So, you have to compare all those things. That is 98280, 90120. 68280 finally 38530 so here also you have to compare the numbers in its high, highest place value that is here so which one is greatest here it is 9 so this and this have got 9 in its highest place value so you have to compare the very next place so these two so 8 or 0 which one is greater this one so this will be the greatest number that is 98280 now after that which will be the greatest this one that is 90120 and after that you have to compare these two that is its highest place value 6 and 3 which is greater 6 so 68280 will be the next one 68280 and after that 38530 38530 so in this way you can arrange them in descending order okay so this is the answer for first one that is table we have made a table and the answer for second one is this that is descending order we have arranged them in descending order then what is the last one find the item which bought him the highest amount so which is the highest amount this one that is 253670. That is this one. 2536. So what is the item which bought him the highest amount? Toothbrushes. Okay. Toothbrushes brought him the highest amount. Now, how much is this amount? So you have to read this amount. So how will you read this amount? 2,53,670. Okay. 2,53,670. Okay, so we have discussed A, B, C and D. So our second question is completed. Thank you.